The SA321 Superfilon symbolized a giant leap in the French helicopter industry. France had previously developed many brilliant lightweight rotorcraft. This heavy helicopter also proved that it could compete with the US rivals in every class. Today we're investigating the SA321 Superfilon, a super hornet that defied the king of the seas. The SA321 Superfilon, meaning Super Hornet, was the first proof that the Europeans could compete with their cousins on the other side of the Atlantic in heavy helicopter technologies. Nevertheless, we should add that the technical assistance of the US Skorsky company played an essential role in its development. In its time, the Superfilon, the most powerful helicopter built in Europe, was also the fastest in the world. And it defied the Sea King's supremacy in the market to some degree. Even though they had proved their combat value in the wars in Korea, Indochina, Algeria and the Middle East in the 1950s, the early medium and heavy-sized transport helicopters were still powered by heavy and unreliable piston engines with insufficient power output. On the other hand, the French engine firm Turbameca had already built the first turboshaft engine for rotorcraft in 1947. The new engine was lightweight and offered a higher fuel efficiency power and reliability. So, the French Sudest company and its successor Sud Aviation equipped its Alouette 2s and Alouette 3s with Turbomeca's turboshafts. These two light utility helicopters instantly became quite popular in the market. It was clear that the era of the piston engine on the rotorcraft was over. So, in the late 1950s, Sud Aviation began to work on a new medium military transport and naval helicopter with a turboshaft engine to replace Skorsky's S-58, which this company had also produced under license. Initially, the project had been called the Super Alouette, but soon the name was changed to Furlon. However, advancements in anti-submarine warfare technologies like radar, dipping sonar and homing torpedoes quickly changed the requirements. The twin-engined SE-3200 Furlon was not powerful enough to carry such equipment. So, Sud Aviation had to revise the design. Still, for this ambitious project, the French had to get technical assistance from its former partner Skorsky. The US company provided the know-how in the new helicopter's development, particularly with the detailed specification, design, construction and testing of the main and tail assembly. Besides, the Italian Fiat company would produce the main gear case and transmission box. The other significant changes were a boat-like hull, a new tail boom design and increased engine power. Moreover, the new helicopter now called Super Filon had three turboshafts. All these changes also improved the rotorcraft's aerodynamic efficiency and handling qualities. The first prototype, tailored toward meeting the needs of the French Air Force, made its maiden flight on December 7, 1962. The second prototype, designed for naval operations, met the skies for the first time on May 28, 1963. After four pre-production helicopters were built, the French Navy placed the initial order for the SA-321G Super Villon version in 1965. The French Air Force and the French Army Light Aviation did not order the helicopter and preferred the SA-330 Puma. Still, some sources claim that the Air Force briefly operated the Super Ferland for the VIP transport roles. Until Aerospatiale, the successor of the Sud Aviation, ceased production in 1981, 99 Super Ferlands were built. But China, which ordered 12 SA321s in 1975, developed the reverse engineered variant of the helicopter called the Z8. The production lines for the AC-313 and Z-18 are still open, which are the advanced versions of the Z-8. Since it was designed by Skorsky, the Super Ferland's all-metal six-blade main rotor rotates counterclockwise, unlike the other French helicopters. The boat-like semi-monocoque fuselage had a conventional metal structure with watertight compartments inside the planing button. The helicopter can land on water. Three flexible fuel cells, with a 3,975 liter capacity in total, are in four watertight underfloor compartments lying fore and aft of the rotor axis. 
The helicopter can carry two 500-liter external fuel tanks. The SA321G variant can also be fitted with two 500-liter internal fuel tanks. The 1.9 meter long and 1.9 meter wide rear loading door is jettisonable in emergencies. Besides, the helicopter has a sliding door on the forward starboard side and a small hinged emergency door on the aft port side. Three turbo shafts are on the top of the fuselage, a pair of turbines positioned side by side at the front and one located aft of the main rotor. The front engines take air via ram intakes while the rear engine uses a semi-circular scoop. The Superfilon's transport version can carry 38 fully equipped troops or over 4.5 tons of load under sling. Used by the French Navy, the SA321G anti-submarine warfare version originally had three 1550 shaft horsepower Turbamica Turbo 3 C6 turboshaft engines. Later, they were replaced by the 1600 shaft horsepower Turbo 3 C7s. On the other hand, the main gearbox was designed to transmit a power of only 4,000 shaft horsepower. The SA321G initially had a navigation radar and the Umera ORB31D Doppler search radar. After modernization, the helicopter received the new advanced Omera ORB32 and was fitted with the Clio infrared camera. Due to the position of the search radar, which was a distinctive shape, the SA321G was nicknamed as Pinocchio. This version also had a small stabilizing float attached to each rear landing gear support structure. Its tail section and main rotor blades could be folded for stowage. The SA321G could carry two lightweight anti-submarine torpedoes. Even though the helicopter conducted the first fire trial of the Exocet AM-39 in 1973, the French Navy did not use this anti-ship missile as a standard weaponry of this variant. The SA321GM was the export version of the SA321G for Libya and was fitted with the Umara ORB 32WAS radar. Produced for Iraq, the SA321H had the same radar as the French version and could be equipped with two Exoza AM-39 or four AS-12 air-to-surface missiles. The SA321GA was the utility and assault transport variant for the French Navy. The SA321K was the military transport export version for Israel. Its nickname in the Israeli Air Force was Zoha, meaning WASP. The SA321Ks were later equipped with the 1870 shaft horsepower General Electric T58 GE T5D turboshaft engines. Produced for South Africa, the SA321L had air inlet filters unlike the other variants. The SA321M used by Libya was the search and rescue and utility transport version. The SA321F, SA321J, SA321JA were commercial airline versions. Since we're planning to make a separate video, we do not cover the Chinese Z8 and its advanced Z18 variants here. China is the only remaining user of the Super Filon. France, Iraq, Israel, Libya, South Africa and Zaire retired their helicopters. Indonesia used the Super Furlons in military missions even though they were owned by the civilian Palita Air Service Company. Some sources also claim that Malta leased two Libyan SA321Ms between 1975 and 1981. However, we couldn't find any visual confirmation. The SA321G variant of the Super Furlon had a five-person crew and could carry 27 passengers. It had a length of 23.03 meters, a rotor diameter of 18.9 meters and a height of 6.66 meters. The helicopter's empty weight was 6,863 kilograms, while its maximum takeoff weight was 13,000 kilograms. Three 1,550 shaft horsepower Turbomeca Turbo 3 C6 turboshaft engines provided a top speed of 275 km per hour. Its cruising speed was 249 km per hour. The helicopter's range was 1,020 km. It could climb to an altitude of 3,150 meters, in other words, 10,325 feet. 
Even though the never exceed speed was 275 km per hour for the operational variants, a modified Superfilon broke the helicopter world speed record with a maximum speed of 350.47 km per hour on July 23, 1963. The French Navy initially used the SA-321Gs in land and ship-based anti-submarine warfare missions. As land-based, these helicopters patrolled in support of the Redoutable-class nuclear ballistic missile submarines entering and leaving their base on the E-Long. They also performed transport duties including commando transport, vertical replenishment and search and rescue. Especially the success in search and rescue missions, the helicopter earned the nickname C. Saint Bernard. In 1980, the French Navy replaced Super Fregalons with the Lynxes in anti-submarine warfare missions. So, these helicopters continued transport roles. In 1982-1983, the French Super Fregalons participated in Operation Oliphant in Lebanon. In 1982-1983, they served in Operation Daguerre for the liberation of Kuwait. From 1993 to 1997, France deployed them in the Adriatic Sea to support operations in former Yugoslavia and Albania. On April 30, 2010, the French Navy retired its Super Fillons. The Super Fillon had the most intense operation career in the Israeli service. Four Zohas participated in the 1967 Six-Day War and played crucial roles in capturing Sharm el-Sheikh and the Golan Heights. They also saved the lives of many wounded Israeli soldiers. When an SSN-2 Styx missile fired from an Egyptian Kamar-class missile boat sunk the Israeli destroyer INS Eilat on October 21, 1967, the helicopter was there to save the survivors. The Zohas participated in the Battle of Kremat in Jordan on March 21, 1968. On October 31, 1968, they carried the Israeli commandos in a 700 km deep raid against the Egyptian Najaw Hamadi Dam and hydroelectric plant and the nearby Kuna Bridge. On December 26, 1968, terrorists attacked an Israeli El Al Boeing 707 in Athens. So, Israel sent commandos to strike the Beirut airport to retaliate. On December 28, three Superfilons carried the assault force which destroyed 13 Arab airliners on runways. This operation, called Operation Mipsa, infuriated France, which led to an arms embargo later, including the spare parts for the SA-321s. On December 26, 1969, the Super Fralons participated in Operation Tarnagel 53 alongside the newly delivered CH-53s, and the Israeli commandos captured a Soviet P-12 radar from the Egyptians. On January 22, 1970, Israel conducted Operation Rhodus. The Zohas transported Israeli paratroopers and Shayatet 13 naval commandos to Shadwan Island in the Gulf of Suez. They took control of the island for over a day and captured 62 Egyptian soldiers and radar equipment. During the 1973 Yom Kippur War, the Israeli Super Felons played crucial roles in recapturing the Mount Harman post and crossing the Suez Canal. On April 27, 1974, during a clash in Mount Harmon, an Israeli SA-321 Superfellon transport helicopter was shot down by a lucky shot from a Syrian howitzer. The Superfellons also took part in the 1982 Lebanon War. South Africa deployed at least two Superfellons to Mozambique to support the Rhodesian military operations between 1978 and 1979. The helicopter performed evacuation operations during the 1978 Operation Reindeer. Six South African SA-321Ls were involved in the Battle of Casino in the same year. In June 1980, a Super Frelon recovered an Imbola Mark II, which was shot down during a close air support mission. It is estimated that the Exoze missiles fired from Iraqi Super Frelons sunk or destroyed more than 30 civilian ships including tankers and damaged at least 20 others. Also, at least five Iranian naval vessels, including the patrol boat IRIS Mehran and the barrack ship Rafaela, fell victim to them. In exchange, the Iran fighters shut down two Iraqi Super Fillons. During the invasion of Kuwait, one helicopter was lost, probably shut down by an air defense missile system. 
In the 1991 Gulf War, a US aircraft destroyed another Iraqi Super Felon. The Super Felon was a helicopter with similar design criteria and capabilities to the Sea King. However, it was behind its US rival in the market. France acquired only 27 SA321s and exported 72 others. Low production amount increased acquisition and life cycle costs. Still, the Super Ferlon served well and proved itself in combat. The SA321, Europe's heavy transport and naval helicopter of the Cold War, deserves to be mentioned as a true legend. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.